Hey guys, here's another segment of Check This Card Out. This is a very, very situational card, but I think it's still pretty good if you're not facing somebody who's not... If you're facing somebody who's not using a remove from play stuff, and they have a heavy back row, which kind of contradicts itself because mostly people with heavy back row, from what I've noticed, tend to have like a fissure or macrocosms on the field. So let's explain what this card does. Cursed Fig. It is a one level plant effect monster from Crossroads of Chaos. I pulled it recently and I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, select two set spell or traps on the field. While this card is in the graveyard, the select car selected cards cannot be activated. <laughs> ah, fucking phone. So it's like a kind of like a reverse green cap of a green cap that destroys two set cards while this card, what's it called, um, prevents cards from being activated, which I think is pretty interesting. Um, and it's cool because the effect is basically forever as long as it stays in the graveyard. So you're not gonna, unless your opponent monster reborns it or it gets removed from play somehow, those cards basically just stay on field unless they get heavy stormed or whatever. Um, like I said, it's very situational because first of all, it has to be destroyed by battle. If it was destroyed by a card effect, it'd probably make it a lot better. The part, though, it makes sense why it's really good because they want, they would want you to be destroyed, but they would want you to have it to be destroyed by battle. Because the second effect is what makes it like really, really good. While well, it's in the graveyard, they cannot be activated. So, I would per personally use it if I knew the deck was very back row heavy and they usually attacked a lot and there's not many destruction effects. But the thing is, you don't. I wouldn't put it in the side deck if it's a format where everything gets popped easily, like mermails, they pop everything. Um, I'm trying to think what other decks do that. There's a shitload of decks I think that they can easily pop stuff on the field. I think Firefist do the same exact thing. So, yeah, you know, it's only if, if you know for a fact it's like a format where they are, they're they always attacking and never popping any of your stuff. So, what do you guys think about this card? I think it's pretty good. It's just, if only it didn't have to be destroyed by battle, it would have been a lot better. But, who knows? Tell me what you guys think. It's not that bad. It's, uh, you could probably use it in um, Piper Chaos because it's a 1. So, you could draw off of it if you drew them with Piper Chaos with Piper Chaos, with Mystic Piper, so, alright guys, hope you guys have a good one, tell me what you think of this card, would you use it, how situational is it, I think it's freaking very situational, so let me know what you guys thought down below, please have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next one, later.